This is what it's all about. We've cornered Kane in his biochemical research laboratory. Fight your way to the lab and level it. Intelligence informs us that Kane's on site, so complete destruction is imperative. This ought to help. The boys at R&D have completed preliminary testing on the ion cannon the next generation of strategic defense armaments. Its geosynchronous orbit gives it a target divergence factor of 8 to 1. It's an awesome weapon, the most powerful in our arsenal. You fought long and hard, Commander, and it's all come down to this. We're with you. Good luck. that Shepard's getting more and more animated as like the missions go by but only it seems to like only ever be in the context of Kane it's I wonder if he's just like obsessed with Kane then again I guess the entire thread is obsessed with him so is it really any different from Goons who knows I believe this mission is like effectively when we're at the end of the tech tree. Again, we've already seen the our basically multiple rocket launcher system platform, whatever anybody wants to call it. Um, mammoth tanks make a return. So do harvesters on Tiberian fields near our base, which is being really annoying because I can't really do much against this. And we also finally actually have access to the ion cannon now. Remember how he said it's smart not to fight on Tiberium fields? Yep. You know, I used to build advanced power plants, like, all the time. Mainly, I think mainly because of a different game. But when I saw the manual, and when I, when I was looking at the cost and stuff, I still don't get why anybody would want to, other than having a smaller base. Like, if you're... You know, screwed for for space. Yeah, go for the advanced heart plant. But otherwise, like, be a huge mark. So as one can imagine, getting anything like the multiple rocket launcher system and your mammoth tanks, it, it takes a while to build up to. It's definitely not something you can rush, so I mean, don't expect to like get there within like five minutes, unless you're flush with like thousands of dollars of cash, which won't normally be the case. Why am I building that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Affirmative. How long ago did I record this? That's the main question. Moving out. Yes, sir. Ah! Yes, sir. Construction yes, complete. Sir. Moving out. Yes, sir. And the answer is yes, sir. far enough away from today that I 
clearly did not understand the value of just regular power plants. It's the sort of thing that sucks when you like record like a month in advance. Just future you hates past you. Now the only reason I was attacking the, like I switched everybody to attack the further light tank, I was kind of hoping that the splash damage would kill it, the, the closer one, but it didn't work that way. I don't know why, but for some reason I didn't notice that blossom tree there before. I'm gonna have to like check the footage. Because that was like the same reaction I had while playing. I was like, I don't remember this being here. Maybe Nod Harvesters just like kept clearing it out. And I just never paid attention hard enough. So this might just be like the first level where we have, maybe like for a, a GDI I mean, where we have like an abundance of Tiberium that we can put to good use. And I think it's going to show itself like pretty clearly soon enough just how like important that is. Oh and for whatever reason we can commit war crimes still. Seriously, what is it with this game making GDI want to murder civilian buildings? Maybe this is like some weird scorched earth thing where it's like, if we can't uh, take the land, we'll destroy housing so that non scientists will have to live in discomfort. Yet somehow that seems overly elaborate and impossible. So basically, I was trying to figure out where exactly the enemy base would be, or I guess maybe the top right would lead to like a back entrance that wasn't so well defended. There, there seemed to be some options here. Sadly, the options didn't have my vehicles outranging turrets. And because I'm a little strapped for cash at the moment, I figure I might as well 
wait until I can build up forces a little bit. So for whatever reason, the, I guess, MRLS vehicle is just called Rocket Launcher. Uh, ion Cannon in this game requires a lot of investment, very similar to the Temple of Nod and the Nuke. Um, on the plus side, the Ion Cannon is a infinite use, so you don't need to collect crates in past missions, you don't need to do some like goofy side objective that's never mentioned. It's all you need to do is keep it power with dumb advanced power plants that I keep building. The charge timer is like fairly long on it. It's like we've already seen it a couple times. It doesn't have great like area of effect. Uh, it won't take out certain buildings in one hit. So it's kind of pick and choose if that's something that works for you uh, rather than anything else. Personally, I think it's okay for a super weapon, but uh, I mean, I'll take a nuke any day. The fact that you have such a wide area of effect and it'll destroy just about anything, why would you not prefer that? Oh yeah, and Lake Artillery, um, MRLSs are just incredibly fragile. I don't know, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't personally pick one if I had a choice. I'd just go for a medium tank or, you know, spend the money on a mammoth tank. Like, it just kind of sucks for something like the MRLS. Or, like the Humvee, or any vehicle that's not the Mammoth Tank. Like, you give me, you know, the best option ever, I, I, you think I'm not going to take that? So I was low on fun, so I figured, ah, oh, why not? I'll just, I'll build another refinery, get it much closer to the Tiberium Fields, and since I won't have, like, I technically don't have a uh, Harvester Extra, but I, I don't want to have three, so I might as well get a scout out of it. Okay. And, yeah, that uh, does not show much promise. On the plus side, the base in the middle is clearly disconnected from the base at the top, so I might be able to make some headway there and then, you know, move forward. And depending on what's actually in that middle base, I might be able to kind of boost my own income in certain ways, such as building engineers and then selling whatever I capture. Although it doesn't really look like anything's been coming out there anyway, so who knows. Other than me, because I've already played this mission. I was kind of hoping I'd get the ability to build Chinook helicopters, but sadly not the case. So it's been, what, seven and a half, eight minutes since I first got the um, Advanced Comp Center, and we're just about three quarters of the way done with the Ion Cannon Charge. So it kind of gives you an idea of like somewhere around ten minutes, I believe, charge time. Which for what it does is, uh, you know, take it or leave it. Yeah. 
sometimes I see that sort of thing and I just internalize a triple kill being shouted by a Eva. I think I was trying to signal that the construction yard was going to be on that side or something. Some secret meaning, I'm sure. So selecting the Anna Cannon gives us a nice little icon, and there you go. Iron Cannon destroys one obelisk of light. There's not, there's not really much else to say. Like, I, I, it's not that I hate the Iron Cannon. I just think this, like, what we get in right now is just mediocre. So I guess I can at least see where Nod Harvesters are going, but I suspect it'll be the same thing we always see, where the AI has just enough money to build another Harvester, and the cycle repeats itself. So as it turns out, the base has at least one silo, which is obviously going to be more than just one by the end of the day. Aside from a hand of Nod, there's not really much else to like prevent me from doing anything. And I still got a mana tank, so. Truth be told, I wouldn't have any issue like taking out the infantry here. The MRLS is really good against infantry, so that's always a plus. And the mana tank wouldn't really be struggling either, considering how few units are there. You know, the more I hear this song, the more I want to know where that audio sample comes from. If anybody in the thread knows, please let me know. I just think it sounds cool. Building. Not building. Captured. Primary building selected. Our base is under attack. Alright, so we can see at least four silos. There's quite a bit of power, so, I mean, there's no reason not to take those out. Especially if it means that by doing so, we'll put the Obelisk of Light out of commission. 
Like, probably not, but I, why wouldn't you try, right? No, you dummy. Go for the silo. Well, I got two civilians out of it, I guess. I think one important thing to note is that as the AI will always endeavor to replace buildings, um, one thing you can do that doesn't involve just like blowing up the same building 50 times, and admittedly it's like really cheesy the more I think about it, and I don't know if I missed with the, my ion cannon or if that was just how much damage a harvester takes from one of those. Um, but you can easily just capture these silos, sell one, two, or all of them, and then just wait for the AI to rebuild them, and then capture them, and then do that over and over again. Again, it's kind of like scummy to do so, but whatever floats your boat, I guess. Somehow I forgot that that refinery was not mine. Unit lost. Unit ready. Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Unit lost. Building. Yes, sir. Moving out. Not building. Capture. Unit ready. Yes, affirmative. Affirmative. Our base is under attack. Not building. Capture. So here's where I actually build a second war weapons factory, not war factory. And you can kind of see that a mammoth tank builds like faster than it normally would if you just had one building. Building. Construction complete. Building. Unit ready. This also, as you might expect, means I'm going to be building a few more mana tanks. Because why not? Unit ready. Building. Unable to comply. Building in progress. Unit ready. Unit ready. Unable to comply. Building in progress. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Building. Unit ready. Not building. Capture. Yeah? Okay. Yes, yes. Ready and waiting. Building. Not quite sure why I sold three of them, not all four, but. Building. Unit reporting. Moving out. Unit reporting. Moving out. Reporting. Moving out. Construction complete. Building. Building. On hold. seems that maybe I was thinking about the next time I see a lot of silos, I won't continuously capture and sell them. 
Although to a certain degree, it's not like the it's not like the silos will yield as much. So it's kind of just how much money would you ever really make on selling a silo? So I guess attacking the wall just kind of put the AI on edge. So that's about the only good thing about the Ion Cannon. Again, it'll destroy certain buildings in one shot. So you can kind of set up these these small things where you know you take out a vital building like a Obelisk of Light. Now there's no real defense against an engineer, so you sneak that in, destroy a couple walls because they're blocking everything, and voila! You've now got a foothold in the enemy base, and it ends up being another one of those matter of time, you'll get it. I mean, it's really nice having an entire army of mammoth tanks, so... Well, looks like I didn't do enough to the power infrastructure. Unit ready. Building. Not building. Captured. Not building. Captured. Unit ready. Alright, at this point, I believe I should be safe. Things are just too good. Like, why would you ever build anything else? Come on. Other than grenadiers, of course. Yeah, I think it was at this point where I, I kind of realized I, I don't want to have to keep destroying buildings. Not that they can really rebuild now that the construction here is dead, but it's just one of those realiz realizations where I'll just capture these and not worry about them anymore. It also seems a little strange that Nod has like this weird concrete wall outcropping on the top right. Not building, capture. 
building here ready, unable to move on. Oh, and yeah, it, they have a chopper, I guess, that like Permanent. just gave them six engineers. This, I've, I don't know why this is a thing, but it's pretty beautiful. Oh, and I never saw anything harvest from that one lone blossom tree that I was like surprised by seeing. So you can kind of get a feel for how crappy the spread rate is. Yes, sir. Thank <laughs> you. 